T Bone, you're going to have to help me here. Uh, the Wi Fi has gone down. Yeah, what do we have? We're, we're Craig here. Breslow tells the media that uh, the recovery time for Trevor Story is going to be six months. He's likely out for this season. Oh, wow. Get out. Yep. Get another guy. Yeah, reading from they Chris Cantillo here. Uh, Trevor Story will have surgery on his fractured shoulder on Friday. According to Craig Breslow, as Tom just mentioned, the recovery will be somewhere in the neighborhood of six months, so, as Tom said as for well. diving for a ball. They like, knew right... Did you see Devers' the reaction? The player to knew. Yeah. He yeah. heard it pop. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't go like this unless you hear a bone pop or a ligament snap. I've heard guys' knees pop and live, and I don't forget it. I hear all kind of noises, but you don't forget that noise. It's different. It's like Lawrence Taylor when he talks about hearing Theismann's leg break. It's a snit. You've heard stick snaps. You step on things in, in a forest. Man, nothing like a bone breaking, though. He told you this when he stood there and cried yeah. the other day. If you expect him to be back this year, I think you're, you're fooling yourself. What's it, the contract length left on this? Uh, three God. more years after this. So and, he's done this year. Right. right. Yeah. I'd get rid of him. Good what, luck. What king Who's going to take him? I don't know. But like Somebody took Chris Hill. Chris Sale had one year left, though, on his contract. And the fact that they got as much for Chris Sale as they did is a borderline miracle. Right. Nobody is going to take Trevor Story with three years left, given he hasn't hit worth a damn <laughs> since he showed up in Boston and has never hit anywhere besides Coors Field. What a bust. He's injury-prone, and yes, he's a good fielder, but you know what? You can find anybody who can field a good big league shortstop for Four million bucks a year, five million bucks a year. There, there are a whole bunch of all glove, no bat shortstops out there who don't have injury history. What a bust! And don't cost you twenty three million a year. It, it is, is a disaster. Trevor Story signing him is a disaster. It is one of the worst signings in the history of the franchise. And you had and that's saying something. Xander Bogarts who wanted you forced, to be. Here. Yeah. Yep. You, you forced Bogarts out with this guy. Yep. The second. It's kind of karma signed, for him. It's yep. karma for him. It is. No, I mean it. It did. Sad to say it, yeah. but. Lester, I think, was the worst one of all. Lester no felt doubt. the worst. But Bogarts wanted to be here and was going to take less yep. to be here. You could have gotten Bogarts for, and he ended up getting 280. The best thing that ever happened to Xander Bogarts was the Red Sox insulting him. You could have gotten Xander Bogarts for a little bit more than Trevor Story. You know what? And Mc you know who plays every day? Xander Bogarts. McTakey brought this up uh, about two breaks ago. He goes, hey, just take a second. Look around. What do you see? You look around. It's all Red Sox fans here, right? Yep. Opening day, Red Sox fans. Sure. And I said, not really sure. Well, I see a lot of Red Sox shirts. He goes, look at the names. There's not one name of any current player on the team here. All old names. How many Xander Bogarts I mean, jerseys do you Bogarts, see, by the way? I've seen three I saw, Bogarts I see, jerseys. John one Lester name that really stretches me? over the yep. number. Um, I have the no-name jersey on. Yep. I think someone has a Euclid. Mm -hmm. I barely even see Red Sox gear. I mean, I, I mean they're, they're out there. Lester? Lester? Yep. You know, but look, looking around here, yeah, this this isn't a, a Fenway crowd. This Mookie isn't gets, a baseball yeah. crowd. This is a, hey, I'm at opening day crowd. We just saw a guy down the hall. I've been here 11 years in a row, man. Love kid. doing yep. this. Yep. So, that's I mean, cool. For that reason, good. Yeah. That's um, what he does with his son every year. That every year except COVID. What, and I do want to take a couple of calls in a minute here, but just the news now coming out about Trevor Story and basically his season being ended. Uh how do you think the players react to this now? Not uh, well, because they were counting on him. This is real deflating for the team. And I just read somewhere that Vaughn Grissom is now going to be taking ground balls at shortstop again. This is the guy they got for Chris Sale, who's a who's a prospect. But they have so many players that play in their middle infield. That's why they moved on from him. But it's a guy that they wanted to move from shortstop, Matt, because he he's a natural shortstop. Mm -hmm. But he struggles there, yeah. so they thought at second base it might be able to reel him back in again because they want his bat in the lineup, and now he might be forced to play shortstop. Yeah, again. and Milliken can probably help me out a little bit more on this, but yeah, I mean that is the that is the scouting report on Grissom is he's you know more of a hitter. Um, you know there were questions about his ability to stick it short, and they feel he's you know he projects better on the right side of the infield. Um, I mean I don't know if Milliken's back in the studio. I mean is that is this an option where you would consider TV? Um, you if know, I, uh, going to Von Grissom at short? I wouldn't consider it, but clearly it's on the table since he's going to get reps there during his rehab yeah. assignment. Last year in 158 innings at shortstop, he was negative seven out above average, which had him on mm. pace to be the worst defensive shortstop in baseball. Yeah, but is that is that like range? You know, does he make the plays he should make? Like Bogart's never had great range, but if you can make the plays you're supposed to make and, you know, 
catch the baseball, which is more than I can say about anybody else they've had at shortstop, uh, you know, in Trevor Story's absence. Like, I'd say I, it's take overall. a look at it. He, he's yeah. not strong defensively there, and the reports at second base have not been great. You know, Lou Marloni kind of talked about him looking pretty awkward early on at second base this spring, so I'd be pretty cautious with that overall. And he was working with Ron Washington. Keep that in mind. Yeah. The best infield instructor in all of baseball, and they could not get him up to speed. Instead, they chose Orlando Arcia because he could actually play defense. So two whoppers today here on opening day. First home game. Mm -hmm. Story out for the year, Nick Pavetta. Yep. Arm issues. Happy baseball season, guys. Hot five. Yep. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand here. For more Red Sox analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 985thesportshub.com.